Hey gamers, how you doing? If you saw any of my previous videos, you know that I love fighting games and the Street Fighter franchise. So, in this video, I'm going to rank all the Street Fighter main series. X series and crossover games are going to be excluded. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Ok gamers, let's start. It was the start of the series, all the ideas were correct. To be able to play against a friend in 2 player mode was correct. The special moves, the character besides Ryu and Ken, some of them as Birdie, Gen, Adon, Sagat, Eagle are still today fan favorites and appear in many sequels and spin-offs. Street Fighter is known for being the fighting game with flawless gameplay and the fighting game that we have to play with more passion and strategy not just button smash but in this Street Fighter it's almost impossible to throw a fireball. And I don't miss a fireball in Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 3, 4, 5. I do all the trials in any Street Fighter, but the gameplay in this game is completely crap. I I'm sorry for the, the strong word, but it's true. This could be a good start if the gameplay didn't ruin the game. The Street Fighter Alpha series is one of the most beloved series by the fans, and along with Street Fighter 2, it's maybe the best for casual players. The combos aren't hard to do, and all games from the trilogy Alpha 1, 2 and 3 have very, very good story, many characters, good endings, the battle mechanisms are a little dated now compared to the other games in the franchise, but it's not bad. Uh, it have the super combo system introduced in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo by adding a 3 level super combo punch. In Alpha 3, Capcom added new features, such as selected fighting game style. There are two playing styles that can be selected after choosing a character, Normal and Auto. Auto differs from Normal, in that the game automatic guards against a limited number of attacks. It's a very good tool for beginners. Auto also allows the player to perform an instant super combat. Again, it's very good for beginners. I didn't like the hair blocking, and I'm happy that he never used that tool in any Street Fighter game after this, because it not benefits the player with no skill or a good read. Street Fighter Alpha, it was not a game designed for competitive level and to be played in tournaments, so it's very poorly balanced. There are characters much much stronger than others. Like I said before. It's an excellent trilogy for casual players, but for competitive players, it's a little disappointing. Being last Street Fighter, Street Fighter V is the game that every pro player plays these days. The price money is insane. Sponsors as Red Bull and Twitch are always looking for players with the best ranking in tournaments and players with the most follow in social media. That's also happened in the Street Fighter 4 days. Street Fighter 5 for me is a little simple. One week after the game was released, I already did all Ryu combos without missing. And I'm not a very skillful player. I had to play more than a thousand hours in Street Fighter 4 to learn how to connect the link combos and the FADC combos. This doesn't happen in Street Fighter 5. But the good thing is, you didn't need to be constantly training, as this happened in Street Fighter 4. The fighting mechanisms are good. V skills, V triggers, V reversals are very well implanted in this game. The possibility to choose between two V skills and two V-Triggers also give diverse gameplay. I miss some characters, as Goken from Street Fighter 4, or Phelon, DJ and Tihak, original from Super Street Fighter 2. But this is probably the Street Fighter with the better characters. It has many returning characters from the Street Fighter Alpha series, Karin, Cody, Mika, Nash, almost all Street Fighter 2 characters. Some Street Fighter 3 characters too, as Alex, Buki, Yurin, Jill, 
The new characters are also very very good. Nikaldi, Lara, Hashid, Menat, Falk, G and others. The new characters are all very good and very well designed. These characters are very welcome to the Street Fighter universe and I hope to see more in future games. Many well known characters are playable for the first time in this game. Characters as Abigail from the original Final Fight, Lucia from Final Fight 3, Zeku that appears in the ending of Guy in Street Fighter Alpha, Colin from Street Fighter 3, the roster have for now 40 characters, not as many as Street Fighter 4, but almost all are very good. In my opinion, Street Fighter 5 appears to both casual and pro players. Street Fighter 3 was released in the Dreamcast, I didn't play that much, because the Dreamcast pad was very very bad to fight in game. And at the time, 20 years ago, it wasn't easy to buy an arcade stick. The internet was taking the first steps and most people had some fear of chocolate online. So I played Street Fighter 3 for the first time in 2011 under the name Street Fighter 3 Online Edition. The game had very good visual setting, including visual filters, also good online, remix soundtrack and bonus content, unlocked by completing game achievements. Other new models include Tormund and Spectator mod, as well as trial mods that teach the game fundamentals and the ability to share replays on YouTube. Playing this game, I missed Street Fighter 2 characters. This game only had Ryu and Ken from the 12 characters from the original Street Fighter 2 World Warrior. And the third installment right. of Street Fighter 3, Third Strike, also had Chun Li. I already know some other characters as Dudley, Ibuki, and Makoto, because I played many many hours in Super Street Fighter 4 that was released one year before this online edition. The gameplay in this game is one of the best ever made in any fighting game. The pairing system is the best. The feeling of hitting a parry at the correct time and then punish the opponent with a combo is very satisfying. This game was responsible to resurrect the fighting game genre in a moment called Evil Moment 37. In 2004, in the biggest fighting tournament in the world, The Evolution, Daigo the Beast Mehara, that I have the pleasure to meet in 2016, was fighting the best US player at the time, Justin Wong. Umehara was using Ken with last pixel of vitality, and any special attack using by Justin Wong surely would win the match, forcing Umehara to parry all 15 attacks in a very short time period. Umehara did it so successful and went on the counter a final kick to Shunli in midair before launching a super combo and winning the match. <laughs> Evo Moment 37, also known as Daigo Perry, is frequently described as the, the most iconic and memorable moment in the fighting game history. It was, at one point, the most watched competitive gaming moment of all time. This pairing system was very very good, a huge update to the air block. The parry benefits the most skilled player, and we must parry in the perfect time, contrary to Street Fighter 2. All updates in Street Fighter 3 installments, Street Fighter 3 New Generation, Second Impact and Third Strike, all games have different stages and in Third Strike also have different endings. That's what I expect. <laughs> There isn't much to talk about Street Fighter 2. Everybody knows and plays Street Fighter 2 back in the day. The game made its debut in the arcades and later in Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. This is where fighting games start. Today almost every fighting game ever a on with similar fighting style with the uppercut and the fireball. Samurai Shodan have Oamaru, Fatal Fury have Andy, Kings of Fighters have Q and Yori, Art of Fighting Ryu and Hobart, 
Yuki Gear F so bad guy, killing it since MJ Go, and many more. Street Fighter 2 became the best selling title since the golden age of arcade gaming. By 94, the game had been played by over 25 million people in the United States. The SNES version of Street Fighter 2 sold over 6 million copies, making Capcom best selling single title for the next two decades and their best selling game on one single platform. Street Fighter 2 is regarded as one of the best video games of all time and the most important fighting game ever made. It launches a revolutionary moment in the genre, populating the fighting genre during the 90s and inspiring other producers to create their own fighting series. Even today, the game is better than almost all modern fighting games. It's still one of the games that I play more in my arcade machine. The original Street Fighter 2 World Warrior, we can choose between 8 playable characters, and with the exception of Ryu and Ken, all of them have completely different fighting styles. After we defeat all the playable characters, you have to fight against the four Shadow Law Kings to gain the title of the World Warrior. The game received many updates, the second update we can also play with the four boss characters. Later, in Super Street Fighter 2, Capcom had four new fighters, and after that, in Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, Capcom added Super Combos. After building the Super Meter, players can easily put a multi-hit combo which deals a large amount of damage. That was the first game with Super Meter, and it was so well received that all games after that, Capcom or not, have also a Super Meter. In 2070, the game received last update in Ultra Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Nintendo Switch, adding two new characters, Evil Ryu and Violent Ken. Street Fighter 2 is still a competitive fighting game. It is the oldest fighting game that still have the active competitive tournament scene through the world. 30 years after it was released in February of 2020, a local event put face to face two of the best Street Fighter players, Kotaka playing with Kyle versus Kureyashi playing with Ryu. Kotaka won 15-4. The event was organized by none other than Daigo the Beast Umehara. This game, like every fighting game should be, it's easy to play but hard to master. The combos are not hard to do. We have to know all game fundamentals and all the characters to be the expert opponent. When Street Fighter 4 was released, the game received universal critical acclaim, receiving high scores from many many game websites and magazines. It was followed by Super Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition and Ultra Street Fighter 4. All versions of Street Fighter 4 have sold over 9 million unities across all platforms. Street Fighter 4 for me is by far not just the best Street Fighter game, but also the best fighting game ever made. I really doubt that Capcom will ever top this game. This was the game that made me buy my first PlayStation, the PlayStation 3. I always bought Nintendo and Sega consoles, but never in my life I was going to miss a Street Fighter game. So I bought a PS3 and 4 arcade sticks. Yes, 4. I have lots of friends. I bought 2 from Madcats and 2 from Mundiori. I always had friends in my house to play against each other. I always wake up very early to go to work. And I remember so many nights that I almost didn't sleep to see Street Fighter 4 tournaments. Tournaments always ended very late because of the time zones. Me and my friends always talk to the Skype during the tournaments. The reason why Street Fighter 4 was so good in tournaments is because the way that each player could play with the character. If I saw a player playing with God, for example, even without seeing the name of the player on the screen, I would immediately say who he was. In Street Fighter V, for example, all players play almost the same way because the game is more linear and does not let us to be original and to develop the character in our playing style. Street Fighter IV had link combos, FADC combos, focus attack, a total of 44 characters. If I combine the hours I play in Street Fighter IV in my PlayStation 3 and now in the PC, 
I probably have 3000 hours. But even with that 3000 hours, sometimes I still miss some win combos and FADC combos. The execution level was insane. Even the top players take almost a year to level up a character. And that was very good for me. Some people demoralized me for not being able to hit the links and gave up on the game. That's happened to some friends of mine. For me, it was the contrary. I love improving my skills and learning something new every day. I almost give up playing Street Fighter V for being so simple. Like Street Fighter II, I'm going to play this game for the rest of my life. So gamers, what do you think? Which one is your favorite Street Fighter? Do you prefer to play a more casual fighting game or a difficult one? Like always, stay well, thanks for watching the video and see you next time.